Welcome to the Intuit Developer Group. My name is Jared Keneally, and today's video is going to talk about single sign-on using OpenID. One of the prerequisites to be listed on apps.com is that your app should support single sign-on via OpenID. Single sign-on provides a single identity to access your application and QuickBooks Online, so our end customers will not have to remember two passwords. Apps.com uses an OpenID identifier, which is sent to your application when the user clicks Get App Now from Apps.com. There are two types of single sign-on flows that we support, standard single sign-on and modified single sign-on. I want to point out that regardless of which type of single sign-on you use, a user should be able to log into your application using their Intuit identity. In the standard flow, when a user signs up for your app on apps.com, he or she authorizes the app to access their QBO company and then will be redirected to your application. Within your application, you auto-provision that user, meaning you don't ask for any additional credentials or information. The user is automatically signed into the application and can start to use it right away. Let's look at an example of a real-world application that is listed on apps.com. The end user signs up from your application from apps.com. The user signs in with their QBO credentials, selects the company, and authorizes the application. At this point, Intuit sends the user ID to your app via OpenID and redirects the user to your application. Now the user is logged into the application without providing additional information. In the modified flow, when a user signs up for your app on apps.com, he or she authorizes the app to access their QBO company and then will be redirected to your application. Within your application, you prompt the user for additional credentials or information. Once the user enters the information, you create an account for that user in your application and sign them in. Let's take a look at an example. Here we see the user signs in with their QBO credentials, selects the company, and authorizes the application. At this point, the application prompts me for additional information, including a password. I want to point out here that in both cases, OpenID is required. The only difference is what you choose to do when the user lands in your app after the authorization flow, which is either auto-provision the user or prompt for additional information and password. After that, your application should support single sign-on from apps.com or from the sign in with Intuit button on your application. So here we have two examples of single sign-on. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks and happy coding.